what's going on my beautiful beautiful pisces treat me nice please it is scorpion breads tarot i am back at it one more time for you indeed for your mid-august reading to let you guys know what energies are surrounding you guys for august 15th through the 31st shout out to everyone who has clicked like share or subscribed my videos at any point in time thank you guys so much for all of the love and the support um if there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading only thing you need to do is click the about tab all right there's my booking page go ahead and click the booking select the type of a reading that you want and connect with me on the back end on instagram or on google hangouts if you do not have an instagram you can um connect with me on google hangouts and all the thing you need is my email which is scorpion red at gmail.com all right if you would like a recap of the video if you would like to record your reading session with me there's an option in the menu that you can select it's an add-on called a video recap or direct upload you can also use that if you do not want to get on camera and if you just want to send me your question and the way that you do that is purchase your reading purchase the add-on and when you connect with me on either Google Hangouts or Instagram send me the question that you have pertaining to the reading that you purchased but make sure that you only tell me the question that you have not the information surrounding why you're a asking a question because I want to go into the in information I'm going to go into the reading blind because I don't want you to tell me everything that's going on. Because um, I don't want you to say, well, I just told you that, you know. So, I want you to make sure that you only tell me what you want to know. And don't give me too much detail surrounding it, okay. Because it, it, it'll kind of spoil the experience. So, um, if there's anyone that would like to... Um, give any love to this page if these videos give you any type of clarity or insight and you want to send some love um, I have my cash app now there um, you guys have been supporting through um, my Amazon wish list which has been amazing I'm actually um, receiving a package today so thank you again for y'all support and y'all's love um, my PayPal is there as well and if you guys just want to send me an email just to say you know thank you or just you want to chit chat with me please you know all love is accepted and appreciated and I appreciate you all so let's oh and then also Pisces was the most viewed for um, August so shout out to you guys again for all of the likes clicks and subscribes and all of the love and support so thank you guys again let's get into this energy <sighs> so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of pisces thank you so much for all of the blessings the transitions in our life you know that the door has been open to true love light and prosperity hope and happiness and tranquility and balance in our life father god thank you so much for helping us you know balance these scales here and you know find peace and happiness throughout everything that's been going on father god we are able to keep our emotions balanced and flow upstream throughout it all um so thank you so much for holding on to us and thank you so much for being that pillar of strength for us that we can hold on to and um give us guidance for my pisces for mid-month august and thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons that you provided for us in the past present and future father god please give us guidance today for my pisces uh my singles and my couples thank you all right, so let's find out what the overall energy is for my Pisces, all right? All right, thank you so much. Please give me general energy for my Pisces, mid-August the 15th to the 31st. Thank you again. Thank you. Give me guidance for my Pisces. Thank you so much. Ooh, the return of Aphrodite. Oh, my gracious. Mmm. Yes, the return of love. It says the temple, the birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess energy, treating as sacred. So, I feel like, hmm. And the dolphin, and of course, there's two, and of course, Pisces represents two fish one streaming up, one streaming downstream. 
I feel like you guys are most definitely in the number 13 is the death. The death card. And I told you that peace. And there's a key. I feel like you guys are being granted a key. And peace is being ushered back into your life. I feel like for a lot of the male Pisces, um, you guys have burnt away old karmic patterns. I feel like you guys have walked into a threshold where it was something that y'all had to let die out in order for you guys to be able to use your wisdom and use your wits. You know what I'm saying? Your water signs, it has a lot to do with you guys having some type of emotional imbalance where you guys were fighting with yourself within. And I feel like right now you're acknowledging whoever this Aphrodite is to you. I mean, your true love, this person is like the sun, moon, and the stars to you. This is like the mother of the universe to you. This could be the mother of your kids. This could be someone that you deem fit to be the mother of. Of your future someone that you feel worthy of bearing fruit of your seed in the future someone that brings you peace and harmony someone that you're finally had an ashes to ashes dust to dust moment with that number 13 with that death and <laughs> this is the sunset do you see the Sun peaking you know I feel like a new birth either a, a, a the birth of a new love or something is being birthed, something is being transitioned. I feel like you guys are recognizing um, true love in a goddess form. So, ever my female Pisces, y'all have elevated, you know, where you guys are literally a temple of birth and creation, a temple of goddess energy, that you're treating your body as sacred, that you are moving in a more peaceful, you know, you're moving in a more peaceful flow through this, through these waters, you know. It's like you guys hold a key to some level of guidance, like some supreme guidance, like you guys have learned something and you guys have access to a certain level of sacred knowledge or guidance. The death card, the death card, you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. And like I said, this is the number 13. And like I said, that is still represented right here. Like you guys really have, excuse me, let me close this door. You guys have, um, it's something that was within that died away. And there might be somebody that is left behind crying. Um, I really do feel like somebody was left behind. It was a fortress, a palace. Um, look, and then you got the tower in reverse. Y'all avoided a catastrophe somewhere else. And then you got the moon right here. And <laughs> the Pisces. Do you see what I'm saying? Listen, I got to put that right there. I got to put that there. Y'all would listen. Y'all avoided something. Ooh, third party. And then, ooh. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, come on. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mm-hmm. 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 Y'all had to make boss moves because y'all said I'm not about to be a fool no more. I know where my heart lies. I know who I love. I know. You understand what I'm saying? Like, my intuition is telling me it's time to make movements. It's time to make movements and avoid bullshit and go towards Aphrodite. Aphrodite ever you elevating yourself and you saying listen that old palace that old fortress that old place that I lived like I, some of you guys might be moving as well you're moving past something that didn't resonate with you anymore it just did not resonate with you anymore and it's not even that you did anything with the intentions to hurt anybody. You did this with the intentions to grow because you knew where a situation was going and it was leading nowhere. And it's like, um, I'm not going to sit here and act like I don't. Like my intuition isn't telling me, isn't egging me deep inside that, listen, there's a crack in this foundation. It's not built on 
you know, a strong terrain. Like, this is going to eventually fall. I'm going to sit here and be a fool and act like I don't know what I know. Listen, you don't already had two tower episodes before. You don't already had two major incidences in your life that you learned well enough to know to not just sit there and allow the shit to fall in your face. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You, just, you had to be awakened up from like a deep sleep. For some reason, I feel like y'all were like in a deep sleep in a trance or something where it was like, wake up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Y'all woke up just in the nick of time. Like you see those dogs barking. It's like, wake up. But see, you got to be careful of these people. These, these motherfuckers right here. They could be barking at you, trying to get you to do what they want you to do because they scared to do it they motherfucking selves. You see what I'm saying? And they're trying to get you to wake up from a trance, from this almost dream state, from this illusion. And, and indeed, you were in some type of illusion here. Because it was a crack in its foundation. You kept trying to fix it. And you kept trying to fix it. And it's like... I feel like these were opponents or something like that. Like barking at you about fixing this. Like wake up. You we got you know what I'm saying? We gotta fix this. We gotta fix this. And Pisces said, I feel like something in your dream illuminated. I'm wasting too much time trying to avoid a collision here and trying to fix something it's like I've almost been in a trance and an illusion and a daydream and a like chasing a dream almost in a trance state yeah they woke you up but they woke you up to realize that I wasn't seeing with a clear vision you know what I'm saying these are people that were barking fears into your head and like almost trying to get you to do something out of fear you know what I'm saying and now you done got to the point where you don't fear this shit no more. Like, you don't fear this shit no more. Your intuition is telling you, I can just walk away from it. And leave them to deal with that shit on their fucking own. Because it's not, it's, I feel like, of course, this has something to do with a third party situation. It's had something to do with a third party situation. So someone is being left behind and they're crying and... Their foundation is being left in shambles and ruins. But it wasn't built on. It wasn't built on sturdy foundation. You bought like a refurbished house that you knew when you bought it that you was going to have to put a lot of money and work into it. But you purchased it without the money on the back end. So every day little shit start breaking your Hot water heater, your plumbing went out, shit, your refrigerator fucking motor just went out. You're like, well, what the fuck is going to break next? As soon as I break or fix one thing, something else break. It was just too much. It was too much because it was founded on secrets, illusions, fairy tales, propaganda, and too many people being in a place that they weren't warranted. Somebody here was not warranted. Your access was not requested. And now access is being denied. Access is being denied. Pisces has put a bandage over their heart, pulled those swords out, and is looking at the damage and saying, wow. If I would have listened to these people or whoever, whatever, it's like two, it's like fussing on in two different directions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like Pisces was at a crossroads. Got a tower over here, tower over here, maybe in between two different homes. Now Pisces is focused on true love. I feel like Pisces had to really do like a deep dive, like almost like a dark night of the soul, like deep dive of the heart and just 
number one, focus on loving they self for a minute. Like, Pisces had to, like, get some spiritual nurturing and just, like, rebalance their heart, their self, you know? And I feel like once Pisces put an end to some shit, really, and by the grace of God, Pisces was allowed to, like, avoid a disaster because they listened to their intuition, they were being pulled in two different directions and Pisces had to take a step back, look at the damage, heal their heart so that they can love again. Love again this time without making a fool of themselves. Without, I feel like Pisces might have left one home and went into another home. You see what I'm saying? Look, there go the two dogs. The Pisces came up out of the water, was in the crossroads trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying? And that's y'all spiritual God, y'all intuition. Like, now listen. <laughs> now listen, baby. You can't stay in the water. You can't hide out in the waters all day. You hear these motherfuckers barking. You hear what's going on. This ain't no fairy tale. This ain't no illusion. You got to... Look at everything. And someone is going to get hurt. Possibly even both people are hurt. Because honestly, what I'm feeling here is... There's two situations. There's a Pisces meal, because I definitely need this King of Pentacles right here. Because this man is focused on his home. Okay? So if there's a Pisces male that does not have any children, this person decided to pull those swords out, look at everything that was done. They're split in a crossroads between two different homes and they're going towards the direction of their spiritual alignment. I don't think that they're going to choose anyone. They're going towards spirit and healing their heart so that, you know, they can love their self to love again and not make a fool of their self. And to come to the table, a person of worthy, a person of value, a person of balance, a person of substance, a person that is loyal, that is committed, that is willing and able to put in the work to take care of and nurture his family. And so he can see it grow appropriately. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if this is someone that... It's in between two different relationships or something and there's no kids involved. I feel like this person is going to choose their self so that they can learn how to love and not make a fool of themselves and to make a fool of other people. Because not only did you jump your ass off that cliff, because this is someone who left one environment thinking something was going to be better and it wasn't. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so now that's a return to true love. I feel like this person grew up throughout this process where they're able to recognize what a true goddess is, what a true, what a true queen is, so that they won't devalue it and throw it away the way that they did before. Now, if this person has kids, this person is torn between two different houses. They might have been the cause of this third party situation. They had to heal their heart. And step away from it to regain love in itself. And to see how foolish that they were. And this man is going to end up going back home to take care of his family. Because that's where he should be. Listen, you see that castle in the background? That's where he should be. This is truly a family man. You know? I feel like this person made some foolish mistakes in love. But right now, he's just looking for peace. And he wants to be in a situation where love overflows infinitely, you know? He wants the return of his Aphrodite. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let's clarify. This is um, the music deck or something. So let's see. Clarify this death, the tower the moon and the three of swords please all right thank you so much clarify the depth of tower in the reverse yeah chuck berry 
Oh, it's a lot of spades. The seven of spades. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was definitely a side person. The vulture. Yeah, it was most definitely somebody. It's either a younger woman or someone with, like, lightish blonde, gray hair, or grayish hair. <laughs> okay, so this is how I'm reading this. I feel like this person has literally... Split himself in two, like, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, with this right here. The seven of spades and the ten of spades. This is someone recognizing that I feel like this person might have possibly been jealous of the person that he was in a relationship with. And, I mean, I'm not, I, I, I really don't. I'm just telling you what I'm getting. I do see a lot of green back there. I'm taking that as some level of envy in regards to um, someone's character. I feel like this person is like kind of spicy and sultry or something like that. And very vivacious and very... Um, whoever the one was with the blonde hair. And I don't even necessarily think that... The, I don't... Whoever the one is with the blonde hair, somebody with blonde hair. I feel like in this relationship with this person, maybe this man was a little bit older, this girl is a little bit younger. I feel like this person might have been jealous in regards to like career or something like that. And you see Vulture here. I feel like this person felt like a lot of... Like this person took a loss here with this person. Like this person... Was like maybe an energy vulture or something like that. I do feel, I feel like there was a level of intimidation here. It was a level of intimidation. Like this man kind of emotionally felt intimidated by this woman. And it was something about this woman that I also felt like this man felt when he was around her. It drained his energy like an energy vulture. It was something that she was doing that was like draining him. You understand? And with this ten of spades and the seven of spades, the sevens represent contemplation, withdrawal, like understanding, knowledge, wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like there had to be this separation between these two because I feel like there was a lot that brought them together. But there was so much difference between these two that there was a clash. And not only was there a clash, but I feel like there might have been a difference in beliefs. Um, a different in beliefs and a difference in success and for this man I do feel like I'm sorry that's what I'm getting with the green I'm getting with the green like I, that's honestly what I'm getting with the green now let's clarify because I do I don't feel 100% on that 7 of spades I want to make sure that I'm getting that right oh wrong one ta 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 bitch where is you at? Okay. Okay. So, the seven of spades is traditionally a card of bad luck and loss. Unexpected troubles, mishap, unhappy surprises, serious setback, a reversal of plans, frustration, a lack of progress, stalemate, stagnation, an addiction, drugs, medications, alcohol, a codependency, a codependent relationship, a cocktail, a nightclub, a bar, or a saloon. So, and then the ten of spades is traditionally a card of misfortune, grief, ruin, tragic ending, a card that casts an ominous shadow across all surrounding cards. In the spread, the negative emotions associated with unfortunate life events, emotions such as fear, worry, sadness, tears, disappointment, grief. This card can reveal hang-ups and fears um, that block us from reaching our goals, obsessiveness, 
or compulsive behavior, secrets, mystery, lies, suspicion, deceit, criminal activity, betrayal, a large body of water, okay? Um, the unconscious and subconscious mind, evil forces, darkness, night, cold weather, the winter, okay? Hey, that was a lot. I really do feel like the hang up in this relationship between these two people if there was a dark skinned man and had a light skinned woman or a woman with blonde hair or I have a gray hair and dark roots or something like that or maybe even this woman wears wigs with the what's they call it ombre whatever the fuck I do feel like the hang up in this relationship was this man was a little bit older he kind of had Maybe old-fashioned values or something like that where I, I just feel like he couldn't keep up with her. And that's why that green is back there. I really do feel like that's why that green is back there. And it's something that she was doing. And, uh, he felt like she would suck his energy dry. And I feel like that's why... Maybe this girl didn't know that he felt like she was like an energy vulture, an energy vulture. And I feel like this person tried to work things out with this person, but he couldn't. I feel like this person felt more happier. It's two blondes, though. It's two blondes. It's two blondes. But there's definitely a third party relationship. This person, you know, found somebody who's bad, you know. What's her name? Kali Minow. I don't even know who the fuck she is, but like both of these people are kind of hot and sultry in like different ways. One with long hair, one with short hair. But this one, I just feel like they had to end this situation with this one that they felt like was the vulture. Because you got the king of hearts and the three of hearts. The three of hearts represents like a new creation and love, like, you know, um, a brand new spark and new interest in love. And he's the king of hearts. His heart is open for this one. And I feel like the only way for him to kind of like he had to end this with this one to get with this one. But this one still started out in a third party as well. You know, it was created through a third party so I mean I don't know you know how they say the way you get them is the way you lose them so if you have like obtained a man through a third party relationship I'm just going to tell you to be careful because you know the three hearts love beauty happiness new love relationship a love triangle is surrounded by space I told you a creative talent uh, artistic ability achievement such as such as in poetry or artwork, fertility, blood and life, prayers, religion, a growing embryo, an increase of something beautiful such as blooming flowers, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So, I'm going to let y'all... Y'all, y'all heard that I'm gonna let y'all go with that, and y'all mind y'all wanna go with that one. <laughs> Cause I already told y'all there's someone in the mix that's pregnant. And I just heard this one. Cause you okay, so you see up here the male energy, he feels kind of old here. This one dyed her hair to look like this one. This one is trying to be like this one. This one is the older one. I feel like this one puts on a lot of makeup and tries to dress herself up to look younger. But maybe she's not as young as... She could be 10 years older than this one. Or 13 years older than this one. But this one may not be a natural blonde. But I feel like this one is the real deal. Like for some reason... And when he's with this one, you see the solar plexi chakra. You see that yellow there. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person that they're with right here just 
enhances that energy like they you know like i don't know i don't know i'm seeing envy right here i'm seeing envy and i'm seeing greed for some reason i feel like maybe this one was the one that they went with trying to be greedy now that i'm feeling like that because i just heard that this one died this one dyed her hair blonde to look like her so if y'all y'all let me know y'all let me know about that because i swear i just heard that shit that shit no like this one is trying to emulate another one the king of spades lord the six of diamonds the jack of spades <laughs> Okay, so the king of spades and the jack of spades, they are like law enforcement. This is like law enforcement. This is like being a judge, a, per, a character. This is regardless if they have, I mean, this is even like if y'all are dealing with like a Pisces that's in like some type of street gang or maybe they sell drugs or something like that. Like maybe y'all could be dealing with someone in the street life. But these individuals right here are either in some type of law enforcement or, or ever about to enforce some type of law or they be in some type of like the underworld, like street business. You know what I'm saying? Or they're about to address some issues in make some corrections about something that's been going on in this underworld because you see the moon here so that there is something secret and secret element going on especially if there's a third party so i really do feel like whoever the third party is right here like this person is about to feel like change the one with the green this one up here the vulture whoever it is that the Pisces male feels like it's draining them. That makes them older. That whoever the one that they feel intimidated by. It's like I feel like this person does too much. Or they're intimidated by this person's energy. And this person. I don't really know. Because. It's a lot going on right here. And I definitely feel like to some element, Jimi Hendrix and both um, Elvis Presley, they're known for like their drug addiction and their drug abuse and just things of like being high. I feel like there was some type of high nature, some type of foolish nature that was going on here. And they don't want to be a fool anymore because they got to focus on trying to bring in the love of their life and focusing on their family or being able to provide a solid foundation and family. So this six of diamonds right here, um, whoever this woman is that was the third, I really do feel like that situation is being cut out. And or both women could be um, a little bit in shock here um, because it's like they getting it from the front and the back end. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, I'm telling you the law. This is how things about to go. I ain't, I'm not. I'm focusing on true love. I'm not dealing in this foolish shit right now. I got to focus on my family. Or I want a family. And I want to be that. And or I'm going back to my family. And this person is sitting there like, huh? Like, what do you mean? Because diamonds represent like high education. And like, I feel like this person knew that this is coming as well. You know what I'm saying? So. It could reckon it could it could diamonds is like recognition and reward. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like there might be some type of change in regards to how this person is being recognized in this person's life, and they're a little bit shocked by the communication that they're receiving. Um and Therefore, probably lack of communication because it's being backed up by enforcement. Like this person said, you see how he's looking at her like, listen, I'm serious now. You hear what I'm saying? And she's like, what? Like, what, what do you mean? And he's like, now look now, I don't want to have the motherfucker ride up on you. I'm trying to tell you like you need to chill the fuck out. So I, I feel like someone is being urged to like 
back up and to stop contacting them because they're not trying to really engage in a foolish behavior and I feel like someone is going to be kind of stunned and it's almost going to knock that blonde out their hair and they won't go back to their black roots or some shit like they're going to take that wig off and shit or whatever like they're like hold on like this this the real bitch at home like because I don't know I feel like this is like a wig or something I don't know like but it's like this person is being stripped down to the root of the situation like so they can really feel what this person is saying about this so um let me just real quick that six of diamonds i just want to clarify that real quick it's six of diamonds quiet i told you someone is like it says quiet timidly shyness a lack of communication jealousy possessiveness psychology social service science and technology computers information system diagnostic equipment uh, energy surge vital power electric shock like i'm telling you this person is shock um horsepower kinetic energy nervous energy adrenaline so and this is being backed up by enforcement it's like this person is like being cut out and this person is being cut out and I feel like all the blonde <laughs> roots and everything shit gonna fall out. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Like whoever, whoever, oh my God. Okay, the jack of spades, skillful, clever young person, most often a male, a cadet, a police officer, a young person, a foreign country, a young leader, a unsetic, erratic, emotional, inconsistent, a troubled youth, a bully, a gang member, a juvenile delinquent, cold, calculating, emotionally controlled, detached, a liar, a spy, can speak of the dark thoughts of the king or the queen of spades. There go the king of spades right here, okay? The king of spades, a man of authority, ambition, and power, a divorced widow or an older man, a leader, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, a health specialist, a man of a foreign country. He can be arrogant, opportunistic, deceptive, cold, calculating, shrewd, possessive, emotionally controlled, detached, a rival in business or in love. So this person, just like they said, can be at this point with this person and i believe it is with this one just one that they're ending things with to go to the true aphrodite the one that you know feel like helps them be a better person ah mm, 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 mm. let me go here let me go here y'all mm, 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 y'all i feel like this person is going to be shocked at this communication they're going to be stunned, but this person is like, man, I know who I really love. I know what I really want. I'm going back to my family, or I don't feel like I want to build a family with you. The moon, I told you, illusion, secrets, like the fox, oh, the clover, the store, the clock, the locket, the owls, the letter, the gentleman, the stars. The key. Yeah, like, okay. So. Excuse me one second. Okay, excuse me. So. With this moon, like I told you, there is most definitely some illusions. There's some shit going on in the dark. And someone right here is, is like being very calculated and shrewd and things like that. And I want to say it's this Pisces male because they're jumping back and forth between two households. And this person, like it said, this person can be being calculated and manipulative. And it's like when he won't fuck with you. When things are running uphill and upstream with you, you good and you getting the best of him. But anytime he feel like this situation isn't benefiting him anymore, you're getting, you're getting this. You see what I'm saying? You're getting this. And this person is ending things with this one. And they done found somebody else or aunt or this is their kid's mother or somebody. 
But they're going back to this person. This person is using their clever, their skills and their wits to deceive. And sneak away. Like, I really do. And I do feel like there's someone pregnant. This one is pregnant. This one is pregnant. This person feels like they have fortunate new beginnings with this one right here. With this Kylie Minogue. They really do. They feel like. This one, they have better standards in life now. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, before that was cool, but they have better standards of life now. And, <laughs> ah, ay, ay, ay. It's like, I get it, but it's like, I don't, I don't like this energy, y'all. I'm sorry, like. I don't like this energy because even at the end, and y'all could be dealing with, like, if y'all are a Pisces woman, like, y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn male, a Virgo, or uh, a Taurus male that might be in this energy that might be jumping back and forth between homes, between possibly Pisces and an air sign or, oh, yeah. I definitely feel one of the two of y'all is pregnant. He's leaving the old one, the one that's trying to be like the younger one. And the younger one is pregnant. And it might have been some snob, treachery, and deceptive ways behind. Like I said before, I feel like either someone trapped a Pisces intentionally tried to get someone pregnant. And I feel like they might be using that as an excuse to get to get away from this one. And that's why this one is on the floor, like, crying and everything. Like, what the fuck do you mean? And this person just like, man, I don't give a fuck. I'm out of just, you know what I'm saying? I'm riding on. Like, I don't know. Like, I just, I kind of, I don't, I'm, I'm not playing. Like, I don't like this energy, y'all. I really don't. I don't like the way this person is moving. I don't like the way this person is moving, y'all. And this person has been watching all of this shit this whole time. Like, this person, this person has been watching this girl. Like I said, she's been trying to emulate this girl. I don't feel like she was really that shocked when this man really showed his true colors and tried to enforce in written form. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, this girl... Not only like this, the other girl really loves this, this, this Pisces or this, you know, earth sign. This person really put her whole heart into it. That's why I feel like she's been spying and snooping and, and trying to figure out what's been going on. She could even been going through his messages and all of that stuff like that. Trying to figure out what's been going on with this gentleman. But at the same time, I feel like this man is going to communicate with her. I feel like online through text or some type of letter or this person could even this girl could even come home and he's packed up all his shit and just left a letter there and <laughs> you know what I'm saying and let this person know like listen um just my intuition and my faith is moving me somewhere else like you know I just I feel like my spirit guides are moving me like this is like literally like this person is like my spirit guides are telling me to move on and like i said this is about aphrodite and the key like i feel like this person has been given a key back here because there's a baby there's this person has been given a key and open it. You know? Hmm. One door opening, another door closing. <sighs> yeah, like I said, this is signs. Like spiritual intuition, clarity. Like, I'm trying to tell you, this person is going to try to hit you with some old kumbaya shit. Like, 
<laughs> all my spiritual guides told me to go home and all of this shit. Like, whole time, like, this person has the other girl pregnant. But I don't see him telling her that. But I feel like she's snooping around and she's going to find this out on her own. Because he's going to leave. But she wants to know why. Because she still loves him. Mm. Y'all. Lord Jesus have mercy. I'm about to make this real quick. We about to end this because this has already been too much. <laughs> God damn. Give me guidance. Clarify these spaces. Nothingness. Wow. Ordinariness. Maturity. Compromise. Slowing down. Politics, Lord Jesus. Okay, you guys. I really do feel like whoever this male energy here. I want this person to this 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 nothingness is I feel like this person doesn't have any level of faith, any level of direction, any, for some, like, it's just, because, mm, this person needs to grow up. I feel like this person needs to grow up. I feel like something about this person's, the core of who they are, like, this person needs to grow the fuck up. And stop politicking around. Like they need to stop wearing these masks and slithering around like the way that they're doing. Because I just I feel like this person is bringing a whole bunch of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like even to this person that's about to have this baby, this person is bringing nothing, nothing of value, nothing of honor, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And. Now that all of this is coming out, it's like really they're avoiding something that they created with this person <laughs> to go to this person. But they could have been with this person before they were with this person. They could have left this person to go to this person, found out that it was some bullshit, pulled their hearts out of that, and now you wanna you realize you don't wanna be a fool and you wanna go back home. And now your way of going back home is being a slithering snake, politicking around, trying to you know what I'm saying? Like this person might could feel that and don't forget that the energy of this man is opportunistic, manipulative. This is the king of spades backed up. You understand? They want the return to Aphrodite. They're finally acknowledging. And remember the dolphins of the smartest creature in the sea. This is about being smart. This is about being political. This is about making smart moves for them. I feel like this person isn't bringing anything to the table. And whoever this is pregnant, you need to think about that. Because I don't like the way that they slithered, they slithered their ass to you. And you got to really look at the fact that are they really as mature as they're painting themselves out to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just really want you to think about that. Because I feel like all of this had to do with their standard of living. What they felt like where they would get the biggest reward. 
I'm sorry. Like that's how I feel. And I don't like this in this in this politics. I don't I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit. I feel like over here, it was too much ordinariness. They weren't willing to compromise certain things, and they weren't willing to slow down. You know what I'm saying? To I feel like whoever this this older person was in this situation. They felt like you aged them. You know what I'm saying? Because if you could look at the energy up here, this looks like an older man. But when he's down here with this other girl, he feels younger. He feels vibrant. You know what I'm saying? He feels creative. Like this person heightens his creative energies and his juice to do whatever art it is that he's doing. He felt like this person just wanted to kind of sit outside. Like like she like this person was I feel like old, old. And I feel like for some reason, like. That compromise in the reverse. I feel like there was a compromise in regards to some type of money or something like that. And maybe this person wanted them to, to work or, or to do something to bring a that balance, that ordinariness into their home. And I feel like this person wasn't willing to compromise and do that. They weren't willing to slow down what they do. You know what I'm saying? Because of what they want them to do. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is this? Message of concern. Care about this message of concern. false person <laughs> should have known that shit expectations thief hmm clarify thief occupation told you okay has something to do with money all right so there's going to be a message of concern in regards to this man. So, he's trying to leave her. Right? He's trying to leave the old to go to the older that he wants to make new. Or, could be something new. Doesn't matter. He's leaving the one in the green. Whoever the person is in these green cards, he's leaving that person to go to the other the original blonde okay because this person was a false person to begin with i told you that this was third party energy and this person wants the return of the true aphrodite the original blonde do you understand what i'm saying this person was wearing a mask with you the whole time like i said this person was manipulative calculating and now he's being emotionally controlled with you in that silence there okay so the false person could be still sending a lot of messages to this man with expectation. Because now this person feels like the original stole from her. And this woman put a lot of work in. A lot of work in into this situation. A lot of work in. Possibly gave a lot of money. Bought a lot of clothes. This person felt like she upgraded this man only for him to turn around and abandon her. That's why she's looking shocked like this. And especially the fact that he's doubling down with this non-communication like he means it. He wants to return to Aphrodite. The number 13 and started out with the number 13. Death. Death. Okay. But I don't feel like she's over Especially if there was some type of money, if there was anything that has to do with an apartment, if they lived with each other, any type of money, anything like that. She's not just going to allow you to walk away and not pay her back. Uh, she, she's not going to allow that. Give me some guidance for my... Um, and real quick, just give me some guidance for my single... For my simple Pisces.
says you do you stop trying to change people that shit never works for my singles you do you says winning you got a good thing going don't ruin that shit okay to my singles then it says what the hell are you waiting for get that shit done if you're waiting for a sign we're here it fucking is you're winning you do you and then it says you are the best thing to ever happen to you get on your ass buy yourself a damn drink okay come on pisces treat me nice motherfucking please you better motherfucking know it because whoever the single is i feel like someone got away from this bullshit i feel like this is something that possibly might have happened to you and if you're a single pisces woman it's the return of Aphrodite. It's the return of you recognizing this goddess energy. And if this is the person, this foolishness is coming to you, I would not want to deal with nobody that got all of this bullshit associated with them. Like, that's too much. Give me guidance for my single Pisces. Ooh, okay. Pop out. Pop out. Pull up. Pop out. It says reflections. Give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith all will work out for the best yeah there's some crying going on there was a lot of crying in regards to the situation but it says my beloved though we may be physically apart spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time nothing is missed hmm and it says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories that you have shared with those that you loved. Then it says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy to come in your life regardless of your circumstances you currently find yourself in. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Then it says, embrace. Through each other, you find missing pieces. Mm. So that was a lot. I definitely feel like my singles are in separation. I don't know um, if this energy to how this broke up. If this resonates with you, if this happened to you. Regardless of what these cards say. Because I feel what it's saying. But I feel what it's going to be saying too. If you go back. To an energy where there's a false person. There's This person still has expectations. There's still. I just want y'all to be careful. You understand? I feel like. Let me not talk. Let me clarify. Clarify this for the singles. I feel like embrace this experience. And you are the best thing that ever happened to you. And you do you. You know what I'm saying? And you are winning right now. I want you to continue to focus on that. And embrace everything that you learned throughout this process. Because it did return you back to your temple. To the birth of your goddess energy. You know what I'm saying? You inherited a lot of guidance and you are able to honor and treat yourself as sacred now i don't feel like you will ever allow anyone to disrespect you in this way ever again and i feel like there might still be a still a, a strong connection there but at the same time i want you to honor yourself what is this the magician in reverse like i told you I understand what these cards are saying. You know what I'm saying? And maybe this is you. You you feel like you can't get over these thoughts and, and, and this person is, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Because I know a lot of y'all believe in all of this shit. I get it. I get it. And I'm not, and I'm not saying all of this shit to make it sound bad. These sacred unions and these past life relationships and soul ties and everything like that but i want you guys to pay attention to the energy just don't listen 
and believe because I feel like whoever this person is in separation, like this is what you believe that this is a sacred union and do each other. Y'all find missing pieces and shit, but this is the magician in the reverse, baby. This person don't mean you no good. This is the same manipulative, conniving motherfucker that left you and jumping back and forth between two homes and they're allowing their spirituality. They're using their spirituality and their gifts for the wrong thing. They're using it. They're using it in a way that is very foolish in nature. And I told you, you know, the fool in reverse could represent someone with a lack of faith and a rock of honor and don't really give a fuck about what they do or how it affects them, how it affects other people. Like I said, there's a lot of nothingness in the core of that foundation of this person. This person is using his gifts. <sighs> what is this? Temperance in reverse. Like, this person, like I told you, not only is this person gifted in many ways where they can use it to manipulate and maneuver in I'm saying, about to say slothy ways. I don't even know if that's a fucking word, but this person, like I said, this person doesn't have faith. This person doesn't, this temperance in reverse, like that nothingness that I said, it's just like, I don't know where this person fell off or why they feel like they have to move and they don't have, this is someone that doesn't have any faith in the ability in their self and that. They use their gifts to manipulate people to get what they want because for some reason it's something lacking deep within them where they feel like they can't inherit it themselves. And, you know, look at this. Look at this temperance card. They're serving you up here, making it seem like everything's good, but under the table, it, it's, it's other shit going on under the table that you don't even know about why they're keeping a straight face with you. And you can't trust somebody like that. You can't trust... You can't trust somebody like that. The magician in reverse. You can't trust somebody like that. Like this person knows what they're doing. And they're doing that shit only to benefit them. And I want you to like wake up. Remember that <laughs> the moon telling you to wake up. You understand what I'm saying? And remember I told you before that these dogs are barking at you. They're trying to get you to do certain things in fear. You know what I'm saying? Like whoever this person is, especially if this is the single person that this person is impregnated, like whoever this person is impreg that has they impregnated, like this person is using their powers to manipulate you, to have you do things in fear. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even really see what they're doing. What is this? The king of swords in reverse. <laughs> Like, this person is dishonorable. They're not truthful. They're not... Listen, this person will use that weight that they have over you to kind of control. And you have to understand what I'm saying, y'all. Y'all have to understand what I'm saying here. Like, I won't lead you a wrong way. Like, I really do feel like these love cards, like, this is in your mind. Like, what you feel. And God is telling you, you do you. You're winning. You're the best thing that happened to you. Whatever it was that you were about to do, go and do that shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, continue to focus on you. Like, I really do feel like some man is very manipulative. Is filling your head up with lies and trying to leave one situation that ain't work out for them and bounce on over here. I still feel that track, that pregnancy entrapment. I don't like the energy that I'm getting here. They just want the return of that Aphrodite. But at the end of the day, it's like you're recognizing them as this Aphrodite because you want peace, because you want access to a more peaceful home. And you're finally able to see this person's beauty and you're being smart and manipulative. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Okay. So with the single, I mean, with the couples. I got have sex. It says, do you really need a card for this? <laughs> I feel like this date, yeah. It says love can hurt like hell. Breathe through that shit. It says unplug. Turn it all off. 
it turns them on and then there's a you fucked up yeah it's your fault say that shit out loud and then pack your bags get the hell out of town it will make you both lovable again all right so let me get this together so for my couples here what it's saying for y'all is i really do feel like there's not a lot of intimacy in this relationship here there's a lot of shit going on um i do feel like there's been someone spying and lurking around lurking around and spirit is trying to tell you to unplug to unplug and it could possibly be, like, I feel like someone spying and they're lurking and stuff like that could have something to do with the inconsistency in their relationship. I feel like there's a level of, like, insecurity here. And, like, in the aisles, that means. And that's this woman right here. I feel like this woman feels like. If, if she could just get them to have sex and unplug from like the outer world and stuff like that and get away from everything that like things will be better and they'll be able to um reconnect but I honestly want to say that sex is not going to help anything you know Yes, love can hurt like hell, but I feel like you need to unplug from this situation because I feel like you just fucked up. Like, whoever this is, this situation has to deal with a third-party situation. And I just feel like you just fucked up in a way of choosing the type of people that you were dealing with. And you just need to pack your bags and just be done with it. And I I'm being honest because I can't read this energy any other way. I try to want to make it sound nice, but I got to remember the cards that sit behind it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I got to remember the cards that is sitting behind it. And this person said that they weren't going to slow down for you. That they're leaving and this enforcement, you know what I'm saying? So this could be a divorce or just that someone's breaking up and they're going somewhere else. So it doesn't matter if you could, well, let's have a vacation. Let's just unplug and let's just go and this this and that that's not going to help anything you understand what i'm saying like this person is just who they are and then it says wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course you just need to wait you know and then it says forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine you know, so I feel like don't rush into a situation, jumping yourself out there when this person is doubled down and backing down on what he said that he's not communicating with you. I feel like it don't matter what you try to offer or what you try to give to this person. And like I said, I feel like before this person was paying out and giving a lot of money away um, in regards to this relationship. Do you see what I'm saying? So, um... It doesn't matter what kind of vacations. It doesn't matter. You could try to lure this person in with sex. I feel like this person is going to show you who the fuck they really are. And I feel like you just need to chop this shit up and stop wasting your precious energy on trying to buy someone. You can't buy something. And it's like pay attention to what you're spending your money on too. What is this? The sign. Bitch. I feel like this person might be like on a download too. I feel like that might be illuminated too. And then that's and then the six of swords, like <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm sorry. The three of cups. Like y'all go y'all might find out that this person that y'all dealing with not only if this if y'all been dealing with a male, if he's just been a little bit inconsistent. In any female relationship, like just been a clusterfuck of a fucking mess. And if y'all have had any 
thoughts in your head about like the friendships and the closeness of the friendship like maybe the dude goes and spends a night over his boy's house a lot or some shit like that um i'm sorry but i have to tell y'all this i don't feel like this person only sleeps around with women i think that this woman is sleep sleeps around with men too look i feel like that's something that was illuminated as well and I think that that's came out before in the Pisces reading with whole other fucking decks. With whole other decks. And here it is again. But you have a more of a visual form of this Pisces with one of their friends. So I feel like, because remember they said that this person could be like emotionally inconsistent with that king of spades and that jack of spades too. I feel like when you guys find out this situation, that's why they're telling you to wait. Don't be jumping yourself out there like that because there's something else that's going to come out. There's something else that's going to come out. You understand what I'm saying? Be careful what you wishing for. Be careful what you're putting yourself out there for because I'm trying to tell you I don't like the energy of this man any motherfucking way. I don't give a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? I'm reading what is on the table. And I can't lie to you and I cannot tell you anything other than what's on the table i don't like the energy of this man this man is back and forth goes wherever to whatever fits his boat this person is confused about their sexuality that's really why this person can't really embrace and, and it comes into people's life and cause a whole bunch of confusion and shit like that don't really know what they want like this person I feel like this has this this reaches back to their childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like this is going once this shit gets illuminated to you, this six of swords, you're going to, you know what I'm saying? You see how this person is screaming like, oh, I can't believe. Like you're going to be fucking devastated. You're going to realize these are not just this person's friends. Do you understand what I'm saying? These people that this person goes out with the three of cups that this person goes out to drink to celebrate like this person's drinking buddy like not only do they go out and fuck bitches but they be fucking each other too look they be fucking each other too y'all this shit is a mess listen i'm done i'm fucking done because this this whole shit was a motherfucking mess because i seen the return of aphrodite and i thought that we was going good but listen and this gay shit keeps coming out about someone's being undercover. This is my thing, my nigga. Like, if you, if that's what you want to do, do it. Like, do it. But do not hide that shit from people. Don't hide. Because you see, like, this This could even be someone at that they work together or something like that. Do you see what I'm saying? You see, like, they got on uniforms and shit. Ah, yo, I'm done. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I'm done. If this video resonated, hit the like button. Um, if y'all want to email me, email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. If y'all need a reading, if this resonated with y'all and y'all need a reading, y'all contact me. Um, my booking is in the about tab and everything. I love y'all. Peace.